Hello, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, and welcome to this short press point with Commissioner Moscovici and Minister Tsakalotos to mark the successful conclusion of the first review of the stability prog support program for Greece. So we have, as you know, very little time as the Eurogroup is about to get underway. So we'll have time for just uh, a short statement uh, by each of the gentlemen and then maybe a couple of questions. So Commissioner Moscovici, perhaps you would like to start? Thank you, Vanessa. Uh, delighted to, to be here uh, alongside uh, Euclid uh, for uh, what is an important and I think a, a good moment as well for, for Greece, uh, for the Eurozone, um, and uh, for, for, for all of us. Uh, one year ago, uh, we were not so far away from here, uh, discussing in a very tense climate about, well, uh, a new program, uh, and some even uh, spoke about the uh, possibility of a Brexit. Less one year after, um, a lot of uh, work in the last uh, way uh, has been uh, uh, really uh, done, and uh, huge progress uh, have been achieved. And this is why I'm so happy uh, that we could, a few minutes ago, uh, decide uh, in the Board of Governors of the ESM uh, the disbursement of, uh, uh, for Greece, and I think that this will bring really oxygen to the Greek economy, and that's what we expect, that's what we want, uh, because programs are not made for themselves or for the pleasure, there is no pleasure in a program. Uh, they are made in order to create the conditions for uh, this economy uh, to be competitive and for Greece to be a strong uh, member uh, of uh, the Eurozone and to stay there uh, in a reformed way uh, and as a stronger uh, economy. Uh, we also signed together uh, some uh, extensions of the MOU, including uh, the results of the reforms that have already uh, been uh, voted. This is uh, the result of uh, an intensive, uh, incredibly intensive work. Uh, uh, first uh, from the Greek uh, authorities uh, in order to deliver on uh, reforms, and I know that some of them, if not all of them, dear Euclid, were not so easy uh, to uh, decide. Now, uh, there is a, a lot more to be done on implementation, but I think that uh, during this year together, uh, we gained what is absolutely uh, essential, as well in politics as in economy, which is trust. Uh, this government uh, is making uh, difficult, courageous reforms, but mm, needed reforms uh, in order to have a more uh, sustainable uh, and stronger uh, economy in Greece. And uh, today, by concluding uh, the uh, first review, uh, by deciding the disbursement, by extending the MOU or completing the MOU, uh, we are really uh, saying that uh, we are uh, on the right track that uh, the Eurozone is on the right track uh, uh, with its full integrity, that uh, Greece uh, is in the right track to recover uh, growth and uh, jobs. Because that's the point. In our uh, recent forecast, uh, I said that uh, probably uh, growth could get back to Greece in the second half of this year and uh, move up to uh, something like around 3% uh, for next year. That's uh, what I hope, and that's what I expect too. But it was very important that we uh, could be uh, uh, capable of concluding the review, moving on uh, in the program, showing that it is a success. I want to uh, congratulate uh, the Greek government, the uh, Greek authorities, and, uh, and, and the Greek people uh, as well for the efforts made, but also uh, for the uh, results uh, already obtained. Uh, yes. Uh, sometimes we had a dramatic moment in, in this building or in Brussels, but uh, today uh, it is a good moment for the Eurozone, uh, for Greece, and that's why I'm so happy to be here with you, Euclid. And I wanted also to congratulate you, you personally uh, for the job you've done because you are a partner which, well, sometimes we discuss, uh, but with whom it is a, a pleasure to work. And uh, it is a matter of confidence, and it's important to have somebody like you, uh, uh, which, who, whom we trust. Uh, I'm sure expressing here 
the view not only uh, mine personally, but of all the members of the uh, your group. Thank you, Commissioner. Minister Zagalotas. Thank you, Anessa. Thank you, Pierre, for your good words. Um, as Pierre has said, it's been a, a difficult year, uh, not just for the Commission and the institutions, but for Greece, and in particular for Greek people. It's a year where they haven't felt they're out of the woods yet, but it's a year where we had a roadmap which ended with something like today where we had promised that we would recapitalize the banks, that we would finish the first review, and we would get something on debt. And I feel that a year afterwards, we have been quite close to accomplishing most of the things we wanted to do in that roadmap. Uh, it hasn't been always easy. We haven't always agreed. Um, but I would like to thank Pierre and the Commission, because as you know, the Commission plays a special role. Uh, the member states uh, uh, look after their own interests on the whole, but the Commission is there to drive the European process, to drive a Europe um, that will work together and be successful together. And without the, the role of the Commission, it would not have been so easy uh, to find solutions when um, problems arose from time to time, uh, whether on pensions or on financial issues or on tax issues. Um, the fact that there was an honest broker looking for the general interest of all Europeans uh, was a factor. So apart from thanking Pierre and the, his staff and the members of the Commission, um, I'd like to thank other people who've also helped us with, with, uh, throughout Europe, uh, and I hope that we can continue this good relationship. As I said, the Greek people have suffered a great deal over the last five, six years, and it's not obvious that the um, successes are in sight yet. Uh, there's still a long way to go, and we need the two processes as we go from the first to the second review, and as we continue our discussion of debt to get the IMF abroad, it's very important for the Greek government that those two uh, procedures go in parallel, that we don't forget one at the expense of the other. And I think if we can successfully complete then the second review and complete the other process on debt, I think there will be a clear runway for Greek citizens, for Greek investors, for foreign investors to be able to turn around the Greek economy. As Pierre says, there is um, a lot of ground for uh, in improving. There's a lot of ground, grounds for being optimistic about growth, but you will not be surprised from a left-wing government that we are also very interested in the quality of that growth, how much social justice there is in that growth, how much the the benefits of growth are shared out, but also concerns about workers' rights, concerns about ecological issues, that we need a growth model that is very different from the model we had that came before 2008 and before the crisis. And I think we will look forward to discuss with our partners and the Commission to ensure that there is a growth model this time round that is sustainable, that is just, that is uh, favorable to the environment and uh, respects the rights of all citizens. Thank you very much. Thank you to both of you. We now have time for just a couple of quick questions. In the absence of a microphone, I would ask you just to please step forward and, and enunciate and introduce yourselves as well, if you have one. Do we have a first question, if you'd like to come forward? Oh, yeah. Well, you can, you, you can come here. Why don't you just come here? Come here. Is the question in French for the... Uh, Fernanda Gabriel de RTP, uh, vous avez parlé de l'oxygène que la Grèce a eu uh, pour faire ces réformes et que cette aide, c'est encore un bol d'oxygène. Je voulais vous demander uh, si vous pensez que cette discussion sur les sanctions au Portugal, ce, ça n'empêche pas non plus uh, le Portugal d'avoir ce bol d'oxygène que vous parlez sur la Grèce. We are not talking about Portugal today. We are just. Uh... Uh, speaking about the uh, conclusion of the first review and, uh, and the disbursement, uh, which is much welcome, uh, uh, I would say that generally speaking, uh, the Commission, uh, as Euclid says, uh, wants to be the defender of the general interest of, in Europe, and that we are there, uh, of course, to apply rules, 
but to uh, also make sure that rules are uh, supporting uh, growth, uh, social justice, and uh, recovery. And that is uh, something which is valuable for all countries uh, inside the EU and inside the Eurozone. And certainly we have that in mind when we take our decisions. Uh, as, uh, as far as Portugal is concerned, you know that we took some decision in May which was disputed, which is still disputed, and that we will have to come back on that uh, in early July. I had this morning a bilateral meeting with Minister Centeno in order to see uh, how we can proceed uh, in the better way uh, to uh, have the better result for Portugal and for the Eurozone uh, as a whole. I, I, there is just one point I forgot uh, in my uh, brief introduction is that uh, uh, to, 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 to show how important uh, Greece is for the uh, Commission and that this agreement is for all of us. President Juncker will be uh, next week in Athens uh, and I will come back before uh, the uh, holiday break uh, in order to, to, to see how we can implement and how we can manage things in a trustful manner. I know that's important for you, Euclid. And it's a good sign that there is going to be a holiday this year as well. <laughs> <laughs> For all of us. <laughs> Thank you. Any more questions before we progress on to the other matters of the day? I don't see any. Thank you very much Thank to you. the two of you and good continuation.